about to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. 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 What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones representing Pump Chasers. So guys, as you see, I'm 203 pounds. Started at uh, 209, all right? And today's a rest day. I'm not gonna lie to you. Damn, I wish it was a training day because I'm getting some good momentum and I wanna keep training. I lose more weight, obviously. I get more progress, obviously, when I'm in the gym fucking shit up, doing my cardio and all that. But today's a rest day. And rest is part of the journey. I think so many of us forget that. Rest is part of this journey. Okay, sometimes you gotta take a couple steps back so you can project forward. But what I'm gonna do is enjoy this rest day. Start off with some cardio, you already know. About to pop some Cuts FTS. Drink me some water and start my day. So I'm gonna use this day to be productive. I got things around the house I gotta do. I got emails I gotta catch up on. I got laundry to catch up on. So I'm gonna use this day to be productive. Also, Denise and Brooke are out of town for 10 days. So, you know, for those of you guys that, that love seeing Brooke, you'll be seeing her soon, just not in this video, okay? Second and third, they went into competition, they just didn't get any cardio in. That's kind of in that shit. Check out an interview with Prince and Robbie Robinson. Like I told you guys many times, Bodybuilding is literally a discipline that is backed by universal law and principle. And with that said, in the realm of bodybuilding, Robbie Robinson is one of them ones. Point blank, period. All right, homies at home, man, so check it out. I'm about to go to the grocery store and get some groceries. So I'm actually putting my meal plan together. Right. I want to use my rest day to be productive, so I'm going to pick up some groceries, do a little meal prepping later, and I'm in the taste for something different. I don't want no turkey today. I don't want no chicken breast today. So I'm making me a meal plan. I'm making me a meal plan right now, and it's going to fit my macros perfectly. No guilt. Okay, but well, guess what? In my mind, the day is already done. The day is already over. I'm gonna eat exactly what's on my motherfucking meal plan. Nothing more, nothing less, okay? Take the emotions out of it. It's already written down. Also keep one thing in mind. I work from home, guys. All I pretty much do is take care of my clients. And uh, with that said, I'm not very active. I don't move around a lot, so. I personally like to drop my carbs just a little bit on the days where I'm just staying home doing nothing, which is today. All right, so keep that in mind as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the grocery store, pick up some groceries, run some errands. All right, homies and homemates, I'm gonna have my first meal. Show them the time over there, brother. Three o'clock. Go ahead and have my first meal. Breaking my little fast with the smoothie. I'm gonna go ahead and run some errands. Now, usually, guys, I have a banana with my smoothie, but it's a rest day for me. I'm not lifting no weights. I'm really not going anywhere but to the grocery store and a couple of places. It's a low activity day for me. So I'm gonna cut my carbs just a little bit. We're gonna skip the banana and do strawberries. And fun fact, strawberries, um, blueberries, blackberries, fruits like that, you get more bang for your buck. There, you get a lot of fruits with less carbs. Like fruits like grapes, fruits like banana. This small banana is about 25 to 30 grams of carbs, guys. So just keep those things in mind when you're cutting. You know, that might affect your choices. If you know you're only getting like 125 grams of carbs a day, you might not want to do grapes. You want to do more blueberries, more strawberries, stuff like that, where you can get a bowl full of fruits versus just a little bit of fruits, you know. Instead of stuff like rice, you might want to do, um... here's another example. This bag right here of cauliflower rice. If this was white rice, it'll probably be about 80 more grams of carbs, right? 
80 grams of carbs or more. But since this is cauliflower rice, this is only 16 grams of carbs. As you see, you get more food, less carbs. So again, guys, when you're cutting carbs, cutting calories, stop thinking I'm eating less. That's gonna psych you out and it's gonna make you not finish your diet. I know people that are only getting like 40 grams of carbs and they're getting more food than people who are getting 200 grams of carbs. It's all about making the proper food choices. I cannot stress that enough, okay? So get some cinnamon up in here. So I got my strawberries up in here. I got that GEF Whey. Guys, tigerfitness.com, support your brother, baby. Okay. Got the hippie milk. I need just a little more protein. I got my meal plan perfect, and I was off by 10 grams of protein. So guess what? I'm gonna get 10 grams of protein from this egg whites right here. Two serving of liquid egg whites is gonna give me 10 grams of protein, okay? So again, guys, the liquid egg whites come clutch when you wanna, you know, fill in those areas where you need more protein. Mm, I hit milk. Also, guys, I got a collagen product coming. I'm really into micronutrients, amino acids, minerals, things like that, guys. You see, I got my magnesium right here. Uh, guys, I got a collagen product coming. So if you guys are in the skin, you know, bone health, be looking out for my collagen product dropping very soon, okay? It's not so full right now without the banana, right? But it's okay. okay. Also, guys, get those fats in. And this fish my macros, 30 grams of pecans. Okay. All right, there it is. So we got some pecans in here. It's gonna be a great smoothie. I'm gonna sip this and go run some errands. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna take this in the car with me. I gotta run some errands. One of those errands is going to the laundromat and dropping off these clothes. So there's people there that will literally wash your clothes for you. You know, they'll weigh your clothes out and they'll charge you and you can pick your shit up. Now, mm -hmm, tell you guys, GAF way, don't miss out. TigerFitness.com. All right, fam, here we are. Like I said, running some errands today. It's gonna be productive. Drop out these clothes. Then, what we got? All right, 15.4 pounds. All right, homies and home mats. It's getting late. Damn near six o'clock, and I'm getting hungry. That shake didn't do much of nothing. So All right, fam. One more stop, and the good thing about coming here, I already know what I need. You know how it is when you come to the store hungry, everything looks good, guys. You come here, get what the hell I came for, and get the fuck out. So earlier, guys, we were just talking about collagen. You know what has natural sources of collagen? Bam! Some beef broth, so you know, throw some beef broth in some of your meals. You know, home sweet home. Just got done running errands, guys. As you see, it's getting pretty late. Had a shake earlier. Now it's time to have me a meal with some food. Okay, let's go ahead and do a whole pound. Yes, a whole pound of beef. 96.4 lean. We're gonna throw some onions in this thing. Let's get it. All right, got to get the onions up in here. Seasonings. Now we throw a little bit of this. Soy, garlic, and red pepper marinade. Give it a little flavor up in there. And some beef broth. All right, get that collagen. Get those amino acids flowing up in the bloodstream, all right? Get some of this beef broth up in here as well. It's gonna be delicious, guys. Absolutely delicious. And here it is, guys. And here it is. A whole pound of beef, which is about 12 ounces cooked. Some rice and all the seasonings, all the fixings. No beans, guys. 
again it's my day off from the gym don't need as much carbs just gonna relax do some things around the house check out some emails and make this a productive day all right guys check out a little tv and i'm going through some boxes of stuff pause okay you already know guys tigerfitness.com get your outright bars make your next move your best move all right, I got a few boxes I got to open up. I got a couple more boxes after this. No! Peach Cobbler! G uh, uh. GF boy, you already know, guys. Make your next move your best move. All right, make your next move your best move. Stop playing games, guys. I'm going to open my boxes, get everything organized. You already know, pump and grind pre-workout. TigerFitness.com, guys. Shout out to everybody supporting Pump Tricia Subs. Thank you guys so much. More pies on the way. Check out this box right here, guys. Uh, 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 let me tell you, if you like mint, keep in mind, everybody doesn't like mint. But if you like mint, this cookies, cream, peanut butter, and mint will knock you off your feet. All right, guys, go ahead and have this last meal. Get the grill warmed up. We got the fish out from the store. So fun fact about these tuna steaks, I went to Albertsons, right? And they didn't have any tuna steaks there, so I had to run to Kroger on the way home. So here it is, I hope it's worth it. So, let's go ahead and make this tuna steak. So what I want to do is, I like a little balsamic vinegar. Okay. I'm going to flip these things over. Okay. I love the vinegar flavor. Then, I'm gonna do a little salt and pepper. So, that's a little much on the salt. What we're gonna do is rub it. Okay. And then here, rub it. Gonna get some olive oil. One tablespoon, of, yes, I'm tracking the olive oil. I put on my fitness pal one full tablespoon. So what I'm gonna do is, guys, I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit, just a little bit. And when the meal is done, I'm gonna drizzle the olive oil on top of the fish and the leafy greens, okay? So I'm gonna save the rest for later. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is get my hands now and just massage the olive oil, salt and pepper and vinegar into the fish, okay? And here we go. I still want it pink on the inside. I just want the outside cooked. Okay, so about three minutes aside, we'll see. It was brought to my attention. The cameraman didn't say nothing. <laughs> Put a little puff on here. He didn't say a damn thing. So we're gonna flip that in real quick. Okay, as you see, it's cooking quick. Okay. All right, here it goes. Mm, see, we got a little pink in there. We got a little pink in there. Okay. Mm, I see it. Look at that glow. Mm, mm, mm. I'm about to fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. Also, just a little bit of brown rice and quinoa. Okay. Simple meal, guys. Macro friendly and delicious. Gonna throw some of this olive oil on here. Don't forget, I track this. Olive oil is very dense in calories, very dense in fat. This tablespoon, this little bitty tablespoon, is 14 grams of fat, guys. And we'll do a little bit of liquid aminos. You know, I like that tuna, especially raw tuna when I get sushi, and I dip it in that soy sauce. This right here got that soy sauce taste, that liquid aminos. A little bit of liquid aminos on there. Oh my God, God, don't be getting jealous, okay? Turn this grill off. And there it is, fam. And this is what I ate today on my rest day. Back in the gym tomorrow. I might vlog. We'll see how I feel when I wake up. But tomorrow, I'm going to be in the gym training chest and back. Woo! Guys, don't you sleep on Chef Jones now. Well, anyway, you already know online macro based coaching at beastmo316.com. And also, how many of you guys are going to the Arnold this year? 
I'm thinking about going to the arm this year. Mark Lobliner is doing an open gym in Ohio, which is about an hour from the Arnold. If any of you guys are going to be there, comment below, shoot me DM, tag me on your Instagram stories. Let me know if you're going to be there because I'm really thinking about it. I'll know for sure by February if I can squeeze that in my schedule. Catch you guys later. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe. How about get your boy? <laughs>